During our fourth week of van life, we made some nice memories. Daphne got to swim and ride on a large ferry boat, and we saw my son and daughter-in-law for the first time in years. Then something terrible happened. We had to take Daphne to an emergency hospital. She was diagnosed with geriatric vestibular disease, which is a condition in the brain that comes on suddenly and causes extreme dizziness. It was predicted that she would improve within 72 hours and recover in one to two weeks. However, after four days and nights in the hospital, there was no change at all. She could not stand up, eat or drink on her own, and she needed a pee pad or a diaper. I brought her home with me in the van and took her to another veterinarian hospital for another opinion. They immediately suggested euthanasia, but we did try steroids for a couple of days in case the issue was inflammation on the brain. This has been Daphne's basic state of being since a week ago. She wants to be upside down, um, they say, because she probably feels dizzy and this is what feels normal. And she just lays on her side with her front paws stretched out and her back paws crossed. They said some kind of reason why the legs want to cross, but, and she can't stand up, so she's wearing a diaper so that she can do what she needs to do. And the diapers are crap, just so you know. We've cleaned up a whole lot of messes. Hey, Daphne. Hey, sweetheart. Unfortunately, there was still no change. After a full week of Daphne just laying on her side and barely eating, it was time to say goodbye. On July 29, 2022, Daphne crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Her story lives on in her children's books. Trying to make sense of her passing, I concluded that Daphne had opened space for another blind dog to have a life of joy and adventure. In next week's video, you'll meet my new traveling companion and the ambassador for Daphne's books.